Mike Beer in New York. Let's head out to the West Coast and take a look at uh, some graded stakes action out at Santa Anita Park. Race number eight is the grade three Santa Isabel stakes for three-year-old fillies, $100,000 purse. They'll go a mile and 16th on the main track. A field of eight entered here. Um, a lot of things to, to sort of wait out before we, you know, get into the real analysis of this race because uh, as far as the weather is concerned out in Southern California, it's just been wet the last couple of days and that is supposed to continue all through the weekend and I'm not sure what kind of track we're going to get here, but it does seem pretty clear at this stage of the game that we're not going to have uh, a fast dirt track out there. That complicates things for this race because none of these horses have ever run on a wet track before and so you're not, you don't really know um, how they're going to handle it. Um, we'll have to see what happens. The morning line favorite, as far as, as this race goes right now, as things stands right now, is the number three awesome baby, a Bob Baffert horse. Um, she's five to two on the morning line. She has the speed, and she's towards the inside, um, and it's Baffert and Mike Smith. And I guess uh, for those reasons, uh, maybe she will be the favorite in this race, but boy, if she is, is she a horse that I'd be looking to bet against? I mean, she's pretty fast, and I guess she'll be on the lead in here, but... Uh, they only tried to stretch her out once in her life as a two-year-old. They ran her in that Chandelier Stakes, a, a Breeders' Cup uh, Juvenile Phillies prep race, I guess. Uh, they had her on the lead that day. She got tired through the stretch. She was well beaten in there. I did not think that she ran well. I did not think that was a particularly impressive race overall. They turned her back for her last start in her three-year-old debut, and she won the Santa Inez, but with a 78 buyer speed figure. She doesn't feel like any kind of star to me. She feels like the kind of horse who, if she is in fact a favorite, I would just bet against on principle. I don't think she's that good. The other speed in the race is also the other Baffert horse in the race, Be Proud. Um, she's run okay. She's obviously, when you look at her on paper, she's just not that fast. She's already run eight times. Um, they have run her on synthetic in her last three starts, and you know you could make the argument that's not her best surface. Even though she was able to win the Cal Oaks last time, she waltzed on an easy lead that day. They want a slow pace, and they couldn't catch her. I actually thought, thought that her last dirt start when she broke her maiden over this track back in October, I thought that was a very good effort, as a matter of fact. She traveled strongly throughout that race up on the pace. She kicked away through the stretch. She finished it off nicely. If she can sort of get back to dirt here and build upon that effort, I thought that maybe she was a way more interesting Baffert horse to take. She's another speed. She may have to deal with her uh, uncoupled entry bait in here, Awesome Baby, but I would be happy to take her over Awesome Baby if I only had to choose between those two horses. Um, but as a matter of fact, there are other horses to, to choose from in this race. And uh, the one that I want in here is the number six, Sweet Bliss. I'm just going to take a shot with this horse in here. She's a street cry with a big damn side pedigree out of a, a dam who's a, a sister to multiple grade one winners. Life is sweet and sweet cat of mine. She has a really big pedigree to be good. And you just go back and watch her two races, or only two lifetime races, I mean, she's just been green uh, throughout both of those races, but she's shown plenty of potential. She has a lot of learning to do, a lot of growing up to do, um, but John Sheriffs is a very sharp trainer, and he's going to come right to this race out of a maiden win. I feel like um, he realizes what kind of horse he may have uh, in his hands here. I, I think this horse is really talented, and you know, if she gets enough pace up front, I, don't, I, I wouldn't be afraid to bet her to run down a horse like Awesome Baby or maybe be proud in this race. I, I think that she has all the upside in the world. I could also give a look to the number one in here, Artemis, who I really liked last time when they tried a grade one with her at the Las Virgenis, and she just didn't run that well. She got away slowly. She was off the pace the entire way, and I know that fashion plate went wire to wire in there, but this horse never really made a run. And uh, I'm concerned that now Jerry Hondover puts blinkers on for the first time. I feel like he didn't like what he saw out of that race either. And he's going to try something new here. I won't be surprised if she bounces back because if she runs more, something more like she ran when she broke her maiden, she could be tough in here. But I was disappointed last time. I'm going to abandon her this time. Maybe you want to get on. And I'm going to try Sweet Bliss in here to upset the uh, Santa Isabel stakes a little bit. Pay attention to the weather, though. See how the track maybe is playing and what happens uh, with that wet track out at Santa Anita over the weekend. If you want to bet it from home, um, you can do that, of course, with DRF Bets. $125 sign-up bonus is available for you right now. You get some free PPs, DRF Plus Access, all that good stuff for the Santa Isabel out at Santa Anita. Race number eight on Saturday. Good luck.